Oil money has always been the engine driving the Nigerian economy. At least 70% of government earnings come from oil, and the nation's budget is usually benchmarked on the going price of oil in the global crude market. When prices therefore fall, as we have seen since late last year, Africa's largest economy catches serious cold, which is what is happening to the country's economy at the moment. The government has had to borrow to pay salaries. Millions of workers in the various states are being owed. Government projects are virtually grounded to a halt, and businesses are reeling from a difficult business climate. It is obvious and clear that the revenue from oil can no longer sustain Nigerians. So the logical thing to do is for a diversification. And it should be not just diversification for the sake of diversification, it has to be implemented. There are so many sectors that are lying idle that we are not thinking about. Good, we have a government of change now. And in their campaign promises, they told us so many things, which by now we expect them to be tackling. In fact, by now we want to be seeing things happening in the solid mineral sector, we are seeing things happening in agriculture, entertainment, and so many other areas that will contribute even more than the oil we so depend on. President Buhari has committed to pursuing an aggressive diversification program. But that itself would take time. To stimulate the economy for now, the government is planning a budget of 6 trillion naira for next year, committing 30% of that to infrastructure. The central bank has also cut down on both the cash reserve ratio and lending rate, while also pledging to support banks that lend to the real sector of the economy. But analyst Johnson Chuku says the central bank must ease its restrictions in the country's foreign exchange market if the government hopes to effectively get the economy back on steam. What the central bank should do is to introduce some guided deregulation of the foreign exchange market and allow inflows and outflows into the economy. Today, what we're doing, we're shutting down all means of outflow and therefore shutting out all possible inflows other than uh, um, proceeds from sale of crude. And unfortunately, the country cannot sustain its consumption, foreign consumptions, only on the strength of inflow from sale of crude. Because, on, as we can see recently, the pr price of crude has dropped below $40. And at below $40, it simply means that our export earnings is not sufficient to meet our import bills. So you need alternative additional sources of inflows. And those insured sources of inflow could come from foreign portfolio investors, foreign direct investors, who have not been shut out of the economy because we are trying to manage the reserve. Nigeria has been using its reserve to defend its currency and avoid devaluation. The reserve has now fallen to around $29 billion, also thanks in part to the depleted earnings from oil. The Chuku says despite the difficult time, Africa's largest economy is showing positive signs of turning the corner going into the new year. I think we should begin to see some level of recoveries. Uh, we already see uh, marginal recovery. We already saw marginal recovery in the third quarter of this year, from a 2.35% GDP growth rate in the second quarter to 2.84% GDP growth rate in, in the third quarter. But that is still far below the country's capacity. I want to believe that uh, with the amount voted for infrastructure development, uh, we should see some improved level of infrastructure, particularly transport infrastructure, and um, we should also see some improved level of power supply, which will catalyze small and medium-scale enterprises. Most Nigerians will tell you that times are really hard and that they just can't wait to see this government turn things around, which is, of course, what the government has said it is going to do with its six trillion naira budget, which is roughly $30 billion. Now, the government has also made it clear that if the price of oil does not pick up, it would not hesitate at all to borrow to ensure it gets this economy firing once again. Dejabadmo, CCTV. Lagos, Nigeria.